China isn't the only nation pushing the limits of innovation. Across the globe, from the United States to Europe, engineers and builders are creating jaw-dropping structures that seem to bend the very laws of physics. From massive 3D-printed homes rising in just days, to self-healing concrete that repairs its own cracks, and windows that literally grow algae to generate heat, these groundbreaking technologies are redefining what construction can be. Inflatable concrete, developed by Italian engineer Dante Bini, is one of the most creative and efficient ways to build structures, quite literally using air as the foundation. Here's how it works. Builders start by laying out a large inflatable canvas shaped like a dome, tunnel, or any other desired structure. Once inflated, this air-filled mold forms the basic outline of the building. Next, steel reinforcement bars are placed over the inflated form, creating a strong grid supported by the structure beneath. Then, concrete is poured across the entire surface, coating the inflated form evenly. After the concrete sets and hardens, the air is released and the inflatable mold is removed, leaving behind a fully self-supporting concrete structure that's both durable and stable. This remarkable technology is being used around the world to build rapid shelters, emergency housing, and even military or disaster relief structures. The entire process takes just a fraction of the time required for traditional construction, requires minimal manpower, and can be repeated again and again using the same inflatable mold. It's an incredible fusion of simplicity and strength. A true example of how modern engineering can turn air and concrete into life-saving architecture. Bridge Launching A revolutionary construction technique pioneered by Marco Rosanoli from Italy is one of the most fascinating and efficient ways to build massive bridges. The process begins with pre-built bridge sections carefully manufactured in a factory to precise specifications. These sections are transported to the construction site, where the real magic begins. Instead of assembling the bridge piece by piece over the gap, engineers construct it on solid ground nearby. Once the structure is fully assembled, a special metal launching nose made of girders is attached to the front. This lightweight yet strong framework acts as a temporary support as the bridge begins its journey across the span. Next, gigantic hydraulic machines, weighing several tons, lift the entire bridge and place it on special bearings coated with low-friction materials, allowing it to slide smoothly without bending or breaking. Then comes the jaw-dropping moment. The entire bridge, sometimes weighing thousands of tons, is slowly pushed forward, inch by inch, across open air. Using hydraulic jacks and precision control systems, engineers guide the bridge perfectly into place, aligning it with the supporting piers. Once it reaches its final position, the temporary nose is removed and the bridge is locked down securely, ready for use. For smaller bridges, this method can install an entire structure in one go. For larger spans, engineers use an incremental approach, adding new sections at the rear and pushing the bridge forward in stages until it's complete. The entire operation demands absolute precision and teamwork, because even the slightest misalignment can cause catastrophic damage. Despite the risks, bridge launching is dramatically faster than traditional construction methods. What might take weeks or even months using conventional techniques can often be completed in just a few days, turning complex engineering into a breathtaking display of precision, power, and innovation. Rammed earth construction is one of humanity's oldest and most sustainable building techniques, dating all the way back to the Neolithic era. But even today, it remains one of the fastest and most efficient ways to build strong, eco-friendly homes. Here's how it works. Builders first set up a mold or frame in the shape of the wall or structure they want to create. Then, layers of natural soil are poured into the mold. Each layer is compressed tightly, either by hand or with specialized machines, to remove air pockets and make the material denser and stronger. 
This process is repeated layer by layer, ensuring the wall becomes incredibly compact and stable. Once the mold is removed, what's left is a solid freestanding wall made entirely of earth, and it's surprisingly durable. These structures can stand firm for decades, even centuries, with minimal maintenance. Beyond strength, rammed earth buildings are naturally insulated, keeping interiors warm in winter and cool in summer, all without modern heating or cooling systems. And there's also an artistic side to it. Builders and designers often use different colored soils to create stunning natural patterns and textures, turning simple walls into pieces of architectural art. It's ancient engineering, reborn for a modern world that's looking for smarter, greener ways to build. Kinetic architecture is one of the most futuristic and practical innovations in modern design. It's a style of construction where parts of a building can move, rotate, or expand, adapting to the environment or the needs of its occupants. Unlike traditional static structures, buildings that use kinetic architecture are alive with motion, transforming their shape, function, and even personality in real time. Take the Berkbury Soleil at the Milwaukee Art Museum, for example. This massive structure unfolds like the wings of a giant bird, providing shade to visitors during the day and folding back to protect the museum from storms. It's both artistic and functional, architecture in motion. But that's just one example. Around the world, kinetic architecture is pushing boundaries. The One Ocean Pavilion features movable facades that shift to create mesmerizing patterns, while the Bund Finance Center in Shanghai uses a dynamic curtain-like facade that opens and closes to control light, airflow, and crowd movement. This revolutionary approach not only makes buildings more adaptable and energy efficient, but it also turns them into living pieces of art, structures that move, breathe, and interact with the world around them. One of the most stunning examples of kinetic architecture is the Al-Bahar Tower in Abu Dhabi, slip form construction. American architect James McDonald revolutionized the way we build tall structures with a method known as slip form construction, a technique that's as efficient as it is fascinating. Here's how it works. Builders first assemble a formwork platform, which acts like a mold for the structure's shape. Then, concrete is poured continuously into this mold while the entire formwork slowly climbs upward. As the concrete hardens below, it creates a solid base that supports the next layer above. The result? A structure that seems to grow out of the ground by itself, almost like a living machine. This method allows workers to complete tall structures in just a few hours or days compared to weeks using traditional techniques. However, slip form construction has its limits. The mold can't be changed mid-project, which means it's best suited for buildings with repetitive designs, like silos, towers, and chimneys. To overcome this issue, engineers developed a similar process called climbing formwork. Instead of pouring concrete continuously, builders pour one level at a time and then move the formwork upward for the next floor. This gives more control over the layout and makes it easier to build complex skyscrapers with varying designs. In both methods, the structure is lifted by powerful hydraulic jacks, working in perfect harmony, just like the legs of a caterpillar, pushing the formwork steadily upward. These innovative techniques have completely transformed modern high-rise construction, making it faster, cleaner, and far more efficient. Light-emitting concrete is a stunning innovation emerging from Germany and Hungary, combining practicality with breathtaking beauty. This revolutionary material contains phosphorescent compounds that allow it to absorb sunlight during the day and glow beautifully at night. The secret lies in its composition. The special cement stores light energy and slowly releases it after dark, creating a soft, natural glow without any electricity. Imagine roads that illuminate themselves at night. That's exactly what engineers are working toward. Glowing roads could improve nighttime visibility, reduce accidents, and save energy by eliminating the need for streetlights in certain areas. But its use doesn't stop there. The Al-Aziz Mosque in Abu Dhabi uses a similar concept where hidden lights shine through intricate calligraphy, making the walls glow with mesmerizing beauty after sunset. 
Light emitting concrete is more than just a material. It's the future of smart, sustainable architecture. 3D knitted formwork developed by ETH Zurich in Switzerland is a groundbreaking construction method that makes it possible to create complex curved concrete structures with incredible precision and efficiency. Here's how it works. The process begins with an industrial knitting machine that produces a double-layered flexible textile, custom-made to the exact dimensions of the structure being built. This knitted fabric is then stretched into shape using ropes and a boundary frame, forming a lightweight yet durable mold. Once the form is set, a thin layer of cement is sprayed over the textile. The layer is strong enough to hold its shape, but light enough to maintain flexibility during construction. After the cement dries, the ropes and frame are removed, leaving behind a freestanding, stable concrete structure. No bricks, no rigid molds required. One of the best examples of this method in action is Knit Candela in Mexico. The knitted fabric used for the project weighed only 55 pounds, yet the completed structure stood strong at five tons, entirely self-supporting. The biggest advantage? Builders can now design flowing organic shapes steep curves, waves, and arches with ease. 3D knitted formwork isn't just efficient, it's also sustainable, reducing waste and material costs. This innovation is reshaping how we think about concrete, and it's paving the way for the next generation of futuristic, flexible architecture.